and Web3 is a new idea to replace and fix the issues which we faced in Web2, uh, starting with the over-centralized, over-commercialized problems, and also the monetization of the values of the internet. And Web3 came into uh, a realization somewhere around when Ethereum was born. I, I think that's where it started to really become a concept with the smart contracts. If we talk about the security aspects of Web3, you, you talk about like um, code vulnerabilities, you talk about key management weaknesses, you talk about um, DDoS, right? Some of these concepts are quite uh, familiar to many of our audience in the Web2 mm -hmm. world. So are we talking about, you know, the security stuff that we didn't fix in Web2? We'll bring with us to Web3, right? So Web3 is, is really different from uh, architecture point of view, and we see very different vulnerabilities, very different types of vulnerabilities. Uh, basically, a lot of types like SQL injection, this kind of uh, issues, um, though can exist in some forms, because we are still using Web2 environments for smart contract interaction. And we don't have yet a clearly Web3 environment, so we are still somewhat reliant on, on Web2 mm -hmm. technologies, meaning we still have some uh, possible vulnerabilities affecting the Web3 uh, spaces. But as we move forward, mm -hmm. I think we will get to a point where we, we will have uh, actual clean Web3 mm -hmm. uh, spaces where we don't have any SQL injection mm -hmm. because there is no SQL or uh, any uh, similar database. But of course, we have new types of vulnerabilities, which uh, I explained in my talk today. For example, reentrancy attack is a, is a very well-known uh, vulnerability uh, where you basically break the logic of the program code. 